Hi, welcome to my YouTube. My name's Louise. Before we carry on, remember, like and subscribe. Today we're going to be covering the Dragon Eye ring. I've used copper for the base as it is easy to bend and highlighted with the silver. Cut 12 inches le in length of 1 millimeter wire. You will need three strands. If you have a clamp, put in a clamp. Start about four inches from the bottom. You can do it without a clamp, but I find it easier with the clamp. Straighten with your nylon wire pliers. That was a mouthful. Well, straighten the wire so there is no kink. Weaving wire, I've used a 0.4 millimeter wire, but you can use a 0.6 millimeter wire. Wrap twice around the first wire, then come round the back and wrap around the two wires as shown here. I have drawn an example, excuse the drawing, just learning the program. I find it easier to follow. So you wrap around the one wire twice. So once, twice. Now you go through to the two wires behind and wrap around both wires. Then the next wire, one wire. Then across and then it's two wires and then across to the one wire. Now wrap around those two wires, then the one wire in the center, then the two wires. Then come across and again, one wire, across to two wires, and then one wire, then two wires. And you keep on going like this till you've got the right length. Starting is the hardest bit. Once you get into the flow, then it's quite easy. Remember to keep using your nylon pliers to straighten the wires. Also, keep pushing the wires down. Not too hard, but firmly. You don't want to bend the wire. I've done that a few times, but just push them down and squeeze them. Take it off. Use your wooden or your metal ring mandal to check the size. I'm using my finger because it's me. I have to be a bit lazy. But I will be trying it around the wooden mandle just now. But the best is to use the ring mandle. You'll get a perfect fit. Once you have the right size, put the wire together like here. Use the inner wire and wrap it around all three wires. Now I'm going to show you with the diagram how you wrap the wires. Please tell me if you find this useful. First, put the inner wire underneath and to the side. As you can see like how I'm drawing now. So remember it is underneath. Next, with the one inner wire, wrap around all four wires. Wrap about two, three times. Pull nicely and firmly and push them up tightly. Then use your rubber pliers just to make sure that they're lying flat. Do you on both sides. Check that it fits your finger. You can tighten it here by just pulling both sets of wire. But put it on the mandle when doing this. I left the silver wire on because I was just going to wrap it around. Well did that and the whole wire snapped. So I had to start again. So I'm going to show you another way of doing a wire wrap. So if you want, you can cut the silver wire off now. Put your eye on and wrap the wire across. The wire you use is the wire that you wrapped around the other wires. Go across the wire to the other side on both sides. If you have a Sharpie, mark where the wire meets the ring on the other side and measure it. The gadget I'm using is called an artistic wire coining gizmo. It is brilliant. It makes lovely beads and necklaces. I'll leave a link below where I bought mine. Surprise, surprise eBay. So a cup of coffee would be great. Okay. Wind enough so that you've got enough for both sides of the ring. 
slip it along the wire that you put across as you can see I'm done here now I didn't measure mine like I told you because I didn't have a sharpie so I then I had to take it off again and cut it so rule of thumb measure it then cut only once I'm going to show you in the diagram exactly how you're going to do it now so pull the wires opposite sides as you can see so you wrap it opposite put the dragon eye on top that's going to be your measuring wrap the wire across so you bring it across over the eye and over the ring as you can see here with the one wire curve it around tuck it under the ring now bring that wire back and then tuck it under the wire and under the ring go around twice just so that you can't see the wire then do exactly the same on the other side right always remember to use your nylon pliers, pliers to straighten it so here we are without the diagram I place the eye on I bend the wire around as you can see here bend it around and tuck it around onto the other side this is why I use the copper wire for the eye and just put the silver on top because the silver when it's pure silver it gets a little bit too tough and really hard to do as you can see here I've tucked it under the ring pull it firmly and then over all the wires and I've tucked it I've moved the stone out it just makes it easier for me to pull it in because trying to work with the stone it gets a bit difficult because it keeps falling out so pull it nice and firmly use your thin nose pliers it makes it a lot easier wrap it around about twice and cut the wire on top so it's not underneath so it doesn't catch the finger use your pliers to press them nice and firmly down So it doesn't lift and catch the finger put the dragon eye in again so that when you wrap the other wire you've got it in the right place you can still slip it out which I do wrap the wire underneath the ring and over and tuck it in so it's hidden underneath as you can see what I'm doing here you can if you want move the eye out so that it's not in the way do it two or three times like I say these little thin pliers are really handy and they're not too expensive adjust the ring and the eye so you're happy with the shape don't panic if the eye drops out you can just slide it back in now grab the two wires and pull them across and you're going to do exactly the same as what you did with the top iron make sure that the wire is straight and I that one I pulled it across the wrong way so I've moved it across to the other side so I'm straightening the wires so pull it across and tuck it under the ring
like I'm doing here. These side wires are to hold the stone in. So just make sure that they are catching the stone so they can't slip out. Keep using your nylon pliers to straighten the wire. If you haven't got nylon pliers, you can use a cloth, but nylon pliers work really well. Tuck your wire underneath. As you can see that here, I'm tucking it through. Use your thin nylon pliers to tighten it. Make sure it's nice and firm and do about two or three times underneath the ring and remember to cut the wire on the top not on the bottom because you don't want it scratching the finger. Do this for all four wires but make sure that your eye is facing the right way before finishing otherwise trying to move it when everything's in place is a bit difficult. I've put a link on how to do the dragon eye so just click on it and it will show you how to do the dragon eye. When you've done all four wires, your ring is then finished. In the near future, I am going to be separating the YouTube sites. So there will be wire work on one and sewing on the other. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thanks. Here's some pictures of it finished. Thank you for watching. I'm leaving some buttons for you to press so you can watch others. Okay, take care and stay safe. Please leave a comment if you found that the diagrams were of help so then I can put more in.